and welcome to the Beauty Know It All. Today I thought I would talk derma rollering. Does it work? Is it worth investing in a gadget and should you incorporate it into your skincare regime? So here's what I think. I have tried it on and off over the years and when I've stuck to it, and that's the problem, compliance, who has the time to put another step into their skincare regime, then I think it boosts the efficacy and the efficiency of whatever skincare you're using. And I remember interviewing Dr. Des Fernandez from Environ and he showed me some incredible befores and afters of using not a very deep derma roller, one just like this, which trust me, doesn't hurt at all. It's slightly prickly at the most. And he explained to me that essentially the idea behind micro needling is to put micro channels into your skin, which either can go so deep, uh, treated as a wound in the skin, so in which case they boost collagen production and they boost blood supply and they boost epidermal growth factors within the skin. And that can be used for things like acne scars and enlarged pores and normal actually everyday scars and even pigmentation but what he was saying Dr Des Fernandez was saying even micro channels of 0.1 of a millimeter so that's a tenth of a millimeter are enough to get through the epidermis and the stratum corneum on the skin so that you can get your active ingredients in and he combines a derma roller with vitamin A therapy with uh, vitamin A skincare and he had amazing before and afters and he basically proved that it could get rid of pigmentation it could get rid of fine lines and even slightly lifted the skin as well so that kind of sold me on the idea because I'd seen the befores and afters the problem is whenever I've tried to use a derma roller I've never stuck with it because I think the best time to use them is last thing at night and we're all a bit tired but I'm going to explain to you how they work and why you should use them okay so this is a standard uh, uh, micro roller, micro needling derma roller, and it's basically a fixed um, Y with a spinning roller on it. And around the outside are lots and lots and lots of, I would suggest that they are 0.2 of a millimeter. That's a fifth of a millimeter. Now this is the original Leaf from Russia one that I was given back in 2009 and I can still use it. It comes with a cleaning solution so that you could boost the efficacy of all their products. Now, before you think a fifth, what's a fifth of a millimeter gonna do? That's not really going to create much of a channel in my skin. Let's go back to some basic skin knowledge, shall we? Your stratum corneum is 0.04 of a millimeter at the most. So that's going through that because that's 0.2 of a millimetre and beneath that is the epidermis and that is 0.1 of a millimetre, so that's tenth of a millimetre. That's about the size of a single sheet of paper. Now the stratum corneum is what you exfoliate off every single day, they're the dead skin cells and the epidermis is the barrier between you and the outside world. That's the piece of your skin that you can see every single day. So this is already going through both of those and getting down into the dermis, the top layers of the dermis. So basically that's delivering skincare exactly where it's needed, which is the dermal epidermal junction and into the top layers of the dermis, which no skincare technically can prove that it actually gets into the dermis of the skin. So uh, it's already boosting everything you put on and that would include, be careful, acids, but also peptides, vitamin A, uh, vitamin B, niacinamide, all those active ingredients that you want to go into your skin, specifically peptides, which are quite long chain molecules and quite difficult to deliver, deliver into the skin. This is what this boosts. And it doesn't, it genuinely doesn't hurt. I'm gonna do it on my neck here now because I've got no makeup on my neck. It basically feels a little bit prickly. And what you do, don't do it willy nilly like that, obviously. What you do is you go, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And you go over each area four or five times in a crosshatch way. So once up, once across, and then once at a diagonal. So to do your whole face would probably take no more than a couple of minutes at the most. And straight away you get a sense of warmth, you get a sense of the blood flow going to the skin, and you get an initial wound reaction, which is that the next morning you will wake up and all of your fine lines will seem less. They just will do because your skin will be very slightly swollen. In addition to that, if you go deeper than that, and you can Google on Amazon, microdermo roller, and they will come in different lengths, okay? So let's have a look at some of the other ones I've got here. This is the one that I was talking about, but, um, 
Des Fernandes of Environ has. He has something called a CIT focus stamp. Now CIT is the original name for microneedling. It was called collagen induction therapy. And that is a tiny little stamp like this. And he's deliberately done it super small because, because idiots like me will just roll the hell out of their skin. So that, like that, you go around the eye and you can go down the nasal labial folds over the chin and around the lip for the smoker's um, lines. That is 0.1 of a millimetre, so that's a tenth of a millimetre. And Des Fernandez says that's all you need to get your skincare to penetrate. The roller I just showed you is 0.2 of a millimetre. But the thing that's going to make me get back to microneedling is this. I'm sure you've seen this. This is the Glow Pro. Now, I can't find anywhere on any site or in their paperwork how deep that needle is, but it feels the same depth as that, which makes me think it's 0.2 of a millimetre, even looks the same, which is basically the, a fifth of a millimetre. So that's getting straight the way through the stratum corneum and the epidermis and getting into the epidermal junction, the dermal epidermal junction, which is where all you want all your skincare to go. Now this, has batteries in it, but it also has a, a plug-in charger and it has a cleaning solution. It doesn't come with any skincare at all. Um, so you can basically use this to team with any of the skincare you have. But this is what's fascinating about this. It vibrates and it's got an LED light. An LED light is proven to be anti-aging on the skin. Now, if I use this across my skin, You've got a, vibe, vibe, a very soft vibration action, but the vibration feels more here than up here. And then you've got a combination of, that definitely feels the same as this. They definitely feel the same depth. A 0.2, I suspect, fifth of a millimeter derma roller plus LED light. Strangely mesmerizing. I can imagine if you could be organized, what you could do is you could take your skin, your, all your makeup off at night, sit down in front of a box set on Netflix or Amazon Prime or Sky Atlantic, not that I'm obsessed with American TV, and basically just play around with your skin. Str strangely nice. How your skin feels afterwards is, I'm just gonna turn it off. Instantly, I can feel the warmth instantly and I used to film a TV program called The Alan Titchmar Show and I used to do it with a cosmetic surgeon called Dr Dirk Kramer and he used to turn up every single day. He was a very talented surgeon but a bit bonkers. If you'll see actually below you can see if you just look keep going down the way I've done my playlists and there's one called TV as the Titchmar Show and you'll, you can see him and he's a very talented uh, German surgeon who's about to have a skincare line out and he used to turn up with a really bright red face sometimes bleeding because he'd used his professional depth derma roller and he used to put it all over his face turn up in makeup and then they basically had to take the redness out of his face but what he liked was he liked that initial plumping sensation and he was absolutely convinced that these things work now what you can get available over the counter to people like you and I is either 0.1 millimeter, the stamp, 0.2 millimeter rollers, but you can, if you're very naughty, go into Amazon and find 0.3, 0.4, 0.5 rollers. Now this is where you've got to be careful. This is where you're going right the way into the dermis and the dermis is where the blood supply starts. So you are going to bleed and it is going to be painful. Now, why are these available? They're available because the deeper you go with microneedling, the more professional the effect you get. So basically, back to the gentleman I spoke to originally. So that was my original Leaf and Russia um, derma roller. Now Norman Leaf, off the record, used to treat Brad Pitt for his acne scars. But what he used to do was use a professional depth derma roller. And professional depth derma rollers are between 0.5 millimeter and two millimeters long. Now obviously, the deeper they are, you'd start getting into where the nerves are in the skin and then, and the blood supply in the skin, it needs to be done under local anesthetic or even under general anesthetic or twilight, which is how you treat really deep pitted acne scars and scars. So basically he wanted to do make that technology at a weaker version available at home. 
Now this, I've tried this, I know this works. I've tried the little stamp, I know that works. But I'm super excited to try this. That's microneedling. I suggest what you do if you want to try it is you start off with a standard roller or if you can afford it, the Glow Pro. These are much cheaper on Amazon. And I suggest you start with a 0.2 millimeter derma roller and you use it last thing at night before you use your active ingredients. Be careful with acids. You really don't want acids going deeply into your skin. They're designed to stay on the surface of the skin and to get within pores. But if you're using peptides or vitamin A or niacinamide or vitamin C and you want it to go deeper into your skin to target pigmentation, fine lines, wrinkles, scarring and enlarged pores then they're definitely worth trying this is about 200 pounds you can buy these on amazon for about 30 or 40 pounds um, you will also notice it with this as well you will notice an immediate immediate um, blush to the skin you'll notice that it will be plump because the blood and the lymph supply has been boosted and you will also notice that um, you get a sort of tightening of the skin and sometimes the surface of the skin can be slightly rough afterwards because basically the skin is beginning to shed the wounded skin the damaged skin be careful with these things. They're not to be, as I've just showed you, willy-nilly applied. You have to be careful about what you're doing and map out what you're going to do. Don't go over too many areas. Don't go over your lips. Don't go over your eyelids where the skin is particularly thin. But they are designed to get through the stratum corneum and the epidermis and get to that epidermal top layer of the dermis, that sort of epidermal dermal junction. And if you can get certain actives into that area, you're onto a winner. Now, is it worth doing for you? If you've got enlarged pores, if you've got acne scars, if you've got crosshatch lines, which I'm beginning to get around my eyes here, or if you want to try and firm your jawline or target smoker's lines, then I think if you can afford to add a derma roller into your regime at night, it's got to be worth trying. And I think it particularly works well with peptide creams. And I'm gonna talk about peptides next week. Um, I think if you've got the time to do it, because it's going to take at least a minute every single night to do, it's got to be worth trying. And I've seen some amazing befores and afters on pigmentation and scarring and enlarged pores. For me, I'm going to try the Glow Pro and I'm going to report back, but I'm going to try and give it a good six weeks of teaming it with a peptide cream at night to try and get some nice befores and afters for you. So I promise I shall report back. Let me know if you've tried derma rollering and you think it works. Um, especially if you've got any nice befores and afters. Can you post those below as well? Let me know or tag me on Instagram, obviously at Nadine Baggett, it's the same on Twitter and on YouTube as well. And uh, let me know how you get on as well because I, some people as well have also been in touch and have asked me if it's worth having done professionally. And it's definitely worth having done professionally if you've got picket, pitted acne scars because take a look, Google the befores of Brad Pitt. It is incredible. It really changed the nature and the texture of his skin. So it does work. So there you go. That's my thoughts on derma rollering.